This is a bowl of normal water ice. You can tell it's not dry ice because it's going to start running out of my hand. And you can see it dripping there. If it was liquid nitrogen or dry ice or something, I would be screaming right now. But uh, no, it's uh, ice. Well, let's see if we can run an engine on cold. I have to let it cool down a little bit. It's starting to move. Okay, it's thinking about it. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, is it coasting or is it starting to pick up? I think it's starting to run a little faster. So, this is a uh, Sterling engine and in fact it is running just off of cold. There's nothing else going on here. There's no motors in the background pushing it. There's no fans blowing on it. None of the usual parlor tricks that you see on the internet. This is an engine literally running on cold. And what's happening here is a Stirling engine operates just by moving heat from one place to another. And so what's happening is it's moving the heat from the room through this upper plate and pumping it down into the cold sink of the ice and it's operating. And that's it. Pretty simple. Um, but yeah, you can have an engine that runs off of ice. The colder it is, the faster it would run. Or I should, to be more correct, I should say the bigger the temperature differential between you know the outside air or the input of the heat and the uh, cold sink, the faster it'll run, the more power it'll produce. Okay, well that was it. Proof that you can run an engine off of cold. Uh, at least sort of. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful and interesting in your Sterling engine experimentation.